Good morning, options traders. What's happening, everybody? I wanted to talk a little bit about gamma risk at expiration. Very specific moment in time. I've talked about this risk in roundabout ways in previous videos, but I wanted to address it specifically because I hear a lot of traders talking about it indirectly. They're describing this risk without actually understanding that's what's causing it. So for instance, I'll hear traders say, you know, I've got this position on, but a month ago, the stock would make one or two dollar moves and it would barely budge. My profit and loss just didn't make a big difference. But now that we're real close to expiration, those same dollar moves are making enormous changes to my PL. What's going on here? Are the market makers trying to rip me off? Not at all. That is gamma. And while gamma is always a risk of our positions, it becomes a particular risk as you get closer to expiration. So recall that gamma shows how quickly your deltas will change. And that's why it's sometimes called the delta of the delta. Now, if you're new to your Greeks, I do have other videos specifically on them, delta and gamma and the others. You can go back and review them. But for right now, I just want you to understand that gamma shows how quickly those deltas will change. But there's another definition that traders often don't know, and that is that gamma shows the curvature of your profit and loss diagram. You see, when you have an option or an option strategy prior to expiration, that profit and loss diagram is curved. That's not true for stock and it's this curvature that can cause the problems. So for instance, let's say that you buy 100 shares of stock. This is what your profit and loss diagram looks like. You can make dollar for dollar up and you can lose dollar for dollar down. But do you see how it's a straight line? It's like somebody just laid a ruler right across that page and sketched out that red line. And that's because, again, you own the actual shares. You are making dollar for dollar up and you are losing dollar for dollar down always. So in options trading terms, we would say that the delta is one. Again, just to reflect this idea that it's dollar for dollar up and down always. However, let's say that you had the $100 call right at expiration. This is what your profit and loss diagram looks like. So if you're right at expiration, and I'm talking about seconds before the closing bell on expiration Friday, this is what your diagram looks like. But notice how it's flat below the strike. In other words, it's delta zero, but it's a straight line. And if the stock gets above the strike, you're delta one. So that's why it's going to behave just like stock, but only at expiration if it's in the money. So at expiration, yeah, you could say that your option has straight lines on its P&L, but it's only right at expiration. Prior to expiration, let's say maybe 30 days before, it's not going to look anything like this curve. It's going to look something like this. There's curvature to it. And the closer you get to expiration, the closer that red line moves towards the blue, and the more it bends, and the bigger the curvature becomes. In other words, it's getting larger gamma. So why is this a risk? Well, let's take a look at the 100, 105, 110 butterfly. At expiration, this is what it looks like. So once again, on your P&L right here at zero is your break-even point. And notice that if the stock price is at the left wing right here, your long 100 call, you would be down two bucks. And if the stock price is at 110 or higher at expiration, you would also be down two bucks. And then if the stock is right here at the center strike at 105, you would make your maximum gain of three. But the thing to notice is that when you are at expiration, even in a fairly complicated strategy like a butterfly, the profit and loss diagram is still constructed with straight lines. If you're over here below 100, delta zero. If the stock is above 100 but less than 105, you're delta one. If the stock is above 105 and below 110 on this right side over here, you are delta minus one. You see how this line here is leaning to the left? It's behaving like short shares of stock. And then finally, if the stock is above 110, you are delta zero. So yes, you are built with straight lines at expiration. But unfortunately, traders see graphs like this. This is usually what's posted on books and websites and possibly even your broker's platform. But they're just trying to show you the general nature of the strategy and what's going to happen right on the expiration bell. 
But today, let's say maybe with 30 days to expiration, this is not what your graph looks like. This same strategy, the 100, 105, 110 butterfly, maybe with 30 days, will look like this. So we read this graph exactly the same way. The stock is right here at 105. This is my maximum gain, only at a dollar. Yeah, it'll be three bucks at expiration up here, but right now it's down here. If the stock price moves over here to 110, I'm not at maximum loss. Okay, so it's just a profit and loss diagram, but do you see how there is curvature to it? We're not building it with straight lines. So this is why when you first put your position on, let's say with a month to go, it might have a fairly gentle kind of a rolling slope to it. I mean, yeah, your P&L is going to change, but it's not going to change radically. And that's because this is still a fairly flat curve. But watch what happens with this same strategy with only five days to expiration. You're going to move from the blue line to the red. So now it doesn't look like a rolling hill down here. It looks like you're going off a cliff. That stock price makes a little tiny move out here to the right and your P&L goes straight off a cliff. So for example, let's take two different stock prices. Let's look at 105 and 110. So if the stock moves from 105 to 110 when you initiated it here with 30 days to expiration, that would be that much of a loss, right? You were right here at the top of the blue curve and you've now moved to this portion of the blue curve where it intersects this gray dotted line right at 110. Well, that's a fairly small loss. And in fact, it's about 12%. But if we take that same stock price move with only five days to expiration, look what happens. Now you're going to go from this value down to here, right where this red curve intersects this gray line at 110. Okay, do you see how much bigger that drop is? Well, that's a 68% drop. That's a whole lot different from 12%. And that's why you're seeing these big radical changes as you get closer to expiration. Of course, it could be a benefit if you're on the short side. But the point is that you need to understand how it's going to change and why and how you can capitalize on it. So the point to understand is that as time moves and you get closer to expiration, that your gammas are going to change the shape of your graph. And you need to know how they're going to change because otherwise, again, you can be left with very unpleasant surprises. So remember that when we talk about gamma risk, it's a lot of variables that can change it. Yes, the stock price will change it, but so will time and so will volatility. And the one thing that you know for sure that will change is time. And that's why it becomes a definite risk as time starts moving towards expiration. You absolutely positively are going to be changing the shape of your graphs. But if you also get stock price movement and or volatility movement on top of that, it could actually reverse it or it could make it not as pronounced, but you need to understand how they're going to change because all of these factors will all change the shape of your risk graph. Now, if you're not familiar with how these changes occur or why, or how it's going to affect your positions, that's where you'd want to check out the art and science of options trading. So please check out the Alpha Trader course, Strategy Lab at optionsa-z.com. You can also please join us on the Facebook trading group, Options A to Z, and you can find a link in the description below.